What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another fishing mission. We're out here today and we're gonna be using nothing but white lures. Hence the white shirt, the white glasses. Theme of the video today is white. I'm gonna show you guys just how effective white uh, lures are. We're gonna go out here and we're gonna try to see if we can catch some crappie or some bass or even some bigger uh, panfish. We're gonna get in the kayak and we're gonna get it going. Let's go. All right, we're out here. First one we're gonna be using today is just a little white marabou jig underneath the float. I think it's a good day for a marabou because it's windy. Doesn't take a lot of action for a marabou to be effective. That wind and the current moving the bait along, it's gonna be enough to give it enough action to entice these little crappie and stuff in here. There we go. Yes, sir. So that feels like a decent one too. Oh, that's a big old shell cracker. Yo, that's definitely the biggest shell cracker I've ever caught. That is cool. Big old red ear sunfish. Let me back up a little bit. I don't want to blow the spot up. All right, here we go. That is a nice size red ear. Jeez. All right, first fish of the day is a red ear. It just goes to show you though that these white lures, boy, these things work. Let's get back over there in the same little spot, see if there's any more of them over there. Oh, yep, snatched it right away, come on. There we go. It's a green sunfish. We've got a red ear sunfish and a green sunfish. Here we go. bass all right Ooh, species three of the day fish number three species number three just a small largemouth bass here we go all going off i got a fish on what is this a little crappie or a little sunfish. Excuse the phone. Thought I put it on silent. But I see I didn't. That's fish number four on the white marabou. Ooh, almost number five right there, right away. Oh come on. There we go. Right away, as soon as it hit. That's the crappie, it's the first crappie of the day. Oh, it's a little tiny, tiny bass. Jeez. It's a little tiny bass. Oh, we got one on here. What is this? Oh, another bass, another little bass. Oh, quick release. <laughs> Y'all saw it. It was in the boat. All 
I had to cut the camera off because I was readjusting the boat. Picked up my rod and there was something on there. A little bass. I'm surprised I haven't caught a crappie yet. There we go. Another one. Bluegill. There we go. Another good one. Feels like a good one. It's probably a bluegill. Because they always feel good, but it ends up being a bluegill. Oh, and he got into the daggone weeds right here. There we go. Sunfish. All right. There we go. I think that's number eight with the marabou now. Let's try back over here. Oh, Nibbles, come on. There we go. Oh, a little tiny one. Tiny green sunfish. Back out of here. Number nine. There we go. Trying to fix my line. This one had it. Another sunfish. This is a bigger one. It's number ten. All right. All right, now that we've caught about 10 fish on the white marabou, we're gonna switch to our second white lure, which is just a white curly tail or a paddle tail. Just gonna cast that out over there. And just reel them in. Real simple. Oh, there's one on. Yo, no way. It was just sitting there. I wasn't even moving it. This little bluegill came along and tried to eat that. Well, guys, this hook is bent out, and it's been bent back and bent out again, so I think I'm going to need to switch to something else, because I keep getting bites, but I keep missing them. I think it's because my hook is bent out. Take a couple more casts. If I miss any more bites, then I want to switch, because I don't want to miss fish just because the hook is bent out a little bit.
Here we go. This one feels good too. Oh, it is good. It's a bass. Don't. Oh, please come on. I got that bent out hook. Please don't. Oh, come on. Oh, this is a good one too. Don't jump, don't jump. Got him. Yes, sir. I was just worried about not being able to catch a fish because it was going to bend my hook out. And this guy comes along and crushes it. I had to baby him a little bit, but didn't bend the hook out. That's a big old bass. That's probably about a pound and a half. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. I guess the hook is still good enough for now, guys. It's only the second fish I've caught so far, but I've had a f quite a few bites. Missed fish and whatnot, but yes, sir. That's definitely the biggest fish of the day. And I figured it would come on this because this is a little bigger bait, obviously. Bigger baits, bigger fish, but. As y'all can see, white is a great color. And today the water is not as clear, probably as it usually is. Maybe like foot and a half to two feet of visibility. Oh, there's another bite right there. Come on. And the white is working good. I mean, I've used white in pretty much all conditions, honestly. Clear and cloudy waters. And I've had success. White is one of these colors that I, one of my go-to colors when nothing else is working. Pick up a white and it usually a Get the job done. Oh, I got one on. Oh, it's just a little tiny, tiny. The tiniest green sunfish ever. Dude, you were trying to eat something 80% of your length. Oh, something has it. Oh, this is another big one. Come on. Oh, it's not that big, but oh, come on. The hook bent out. I know it did. Dang it. I know the hook bent out. Dang it. That was another good sized bass right there. Oh, no. Alright y'all, so I broke off <laughs> in this tree up here on the other white paddle tail. So I tied on this one. This one's white and clear with a little silver flake. It's a little bit smaller. Got a fresh hook on it though, so hopefully it doesn't bend out and we can hook up on some fish. Oh, another bass. 
a little small one. It's that first fish on this paddle tail. Three different white lures with a fish now. Unfortunately, the one that was gonna probably catch us the big one broke off. Let's keep it going though. All right, y'all. I'm not having my best day as far as getting snagged. I got snagged again, broke off that second paddle tail. So I tied on a little uh, trout magnet on this pole. I have caught a fish on all three white lures so far. So we're, we're successful so far. We just gotta keep going. Oh, I don't feel like we caught enough fish yet. I tied on a fourth white lure. We're gonna see if we can get one. We almost have one right there. There we go. Oh, come on. I'm getting bites. If you guys have seen any of my videos with the trout magnet before, you guys know this thing works. It's just a matter of time. We'll find one. There we go. Come on. I'm going to try over here by this tree. Got one right here. A bass, another freaking bass. Hey, hey, watch out, buddy. Watch out. Hold on. Another bass, guy. It's another small one, but it's another bass. I'm surprised I have not caught one crappie today. I've caught, I think, four or five bass now. That's not ordinary at this uh, lake here, but I'll take it. Trying to fix my dag online. I look over in the it's gone. Bluegill. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, he got me. He got me. It's a little bluegill. And he jacked my dag on trout magnet all up. Let's fix that. Wrench my hand off. Try to cast out this little tangle here. Here we go. Fix this before another fish picks it up. Okay, we're getting it. Here we go, it's another one. Oh, dang it, that one felt good too. That was probably another bass. What is going on here? There we go. There we go. Fish number three on a white trout, white little white trout magnet. Tongue tied. Another little one. Where's all the crappie at, y'all? Having a fish fry tonight. It's hoping to catch me a true decent sized crappie. And he caught not one crappie, not any size. Something just tried to eat the bobber again.
There we go. Oh, dang it. That one has some weight to it too. Yeah, these fish don't want me to be great today, y'all. They took my daggone trout magnet, buddy. Oh man, let me look in and see what I got. Might have to go back to another mirror, boo. go back to a mirror boo it's the only thing white that i have left in my tackle box so i got this one it's a different one than the original white one it's a white and purple one we're gonna tie this one on There we go. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh, it's a catfish. What? Ow. Just get in the boat. Damn, damn it. A little white and purple mirabu jig. Got me a catfish. And unfortunately for him, we are having a fish fry tonight. <laughs> so this dude is going on a stringer. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. As you guys can see behind me and on me, it's starting to rain now, so I'm gonna call it a day there. But I was able to come out here and catch fish with all the white lures that I used. Uh, I only came out here uh, planning on using three but broke off a couple times uh the trout magnet body got taken so i ended up using five different lures i caught fish on all of them the uh, all white marabou was the most successful i caught 10 on that i think and then i caught a really big bass on the white paddle tail so all in all it was a good day told you guys white works go ahead try some white lures you don't catch some fish but i appreciate you guys tuning in make sure you like subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace